Hi everyone, welcome to Loving and Sharing with Maylene. Today we're going to make the miracle sauce. Once you have the sauce, you can cook majority of the food in 10 to 15 minutes. It's called teriyaki sauce. Teriyaki sauce. We're gonna make cherry gas sauce today. Let's get started. And here are the ingredients. Okay, here are the ingredients. I already chopped and washed it. So now we have three cups of soy sauce, any soy sauce, and I have a three cups of sugar, and I have a three cups of sake, cooking wine, Japanese cooking wine, sake, you can use any brand. And I have a three cups of a mirin, it's cooking wine also, but it's sugar is added in here. So you can use any type of mirin. So I have everything three cups, three cups here. And I have one and a half a cup of ginger. This is sliced frozen ginger. I usually put it in the freezer. You can use any type of ginger, the fresh ginger. It's perfectly fine. And I have one and a half a cup of garlic. You can just use one cup of ginger, one cup of garlic, it's perfectly fine. I just had additional uh, in freezer, so I decided to use one and a half cup and a one and a half cup here. So basically, this is a very basic teriyaki sauce, okay? Now, in order to make it taste deeper, I'm going to add some additional. This is totally optional, okay? I had a bag of uh, carrots. I had a, some leftover celery, and I have a one medium size, size uh, white onions. I'm going to add this one here, but this is totally optional. It just gives you a little bit deeper taste. And when everything is done, I'm going to set aside a little bit of teriyaki sauce to make it dipping sauce, teriyaki dipping sauce. We need a cornstarch, we need a water, and some sesame seeds. This is a quarter cup of cornstarch, half cup of water, and we're going to need a little bit of sesame seeds. That's all. Okay, our ingredients are all prepared. Now let's cook it. All right, so now I have a large pot here. We're going to add everything right here. Soy sauce, sake, and mirin. sugar, garlic, and ginger, and our optional ingredients. You don't need to add any water. Okay, stir it. Make sure all the sugars are dissolved. Initially, put it in the high heat until it gets a boil. Once it's boiling, then we're gonna turn low heat and boil it for about an hour. You cannot go away from here because it can overflow. So constantly watch it and stir it occasionally. So let's see, we'll be back in an hour. Okay, it's been an hour. Let's check the sauce. Okay. I'm gonna turn off the heat. And I'm going to strain this. Okay, right now this sauce is very thin. It's thin like this. So now we're going to turn high heat and boil it for about 
20 minutes until it gets a little thicker. Okay, we're gonna boil it for another 20 minutes until it gets a little thicker and then we'll check the consistency. Right now it's very watery. Okay, it's been 15 minutes. When you see the bubbles like this, which means the sauce is getting thicker. So we're almost ready. I'm gonna let it boil another 10 minutes, another 10 minutes, then should be it. Although it looks thinner, but when it gets cold, it gets, it look, it's, it's gonna get thicker. So let's boil for another 10 minutes. Okay, our sauce is ready. Now, consistency is pretty thick right now. It's gonna get thicker when it gets cold. Okay, so now I'm gonna use half as a cooking sauce and I'm gonna use half as a dipping sauce. So dipping sauce is a little bit thicker. So let's put half right here. Wow, I can, I can, I can see already it's getting thicker. Okay, now we're gonna use this as a dipping sauce. Remember, we had cornstarch and a water. It's exactly double the amount of the cornstarch, so I'm gonna mix it for now. Okay, so it's all mixed. Low heat. I'm going to add half of this for now. I'm going to turn it very low. Okay, I think we can add everything. Okay, our sauce is much thicker right now. It's all done. Here we go. See how thick it is? See this one here? Okay, now, before we put it in the container, we're gonna add some sesame seeds. Okay, here we go. This is dipping sauce. You don't need to add anything. You can just dip and eat it right here. Okay. So we're all done. I'm gonna let it cool down and put it in the container. Okay, we just finished two different type of teriyaki sauce. One is dipping sauce, one is cooking sauce. Dipping sauce is a little thicker with a lots of sesame seeds and this is cooking sauce. Okay, our teriyaki sauce is done. Let me go over some simple steps. We have prepared all the ingredients, number one. Number two, we boiled it. We boiled it for about an hour and we strained out all other ingredients. And only the soy sauce and all the liquid, we boiled another 30 minutes until it gets thicker. And that was it. So, so simple. Prepare all the ingredients, boil it for an hour, strain it, and boil another 20 minutes until it gets thicker. And that's a one. And two, in order to make a dipping sauce, add some cornstarch and boil it another 10, 10 minutes 
and then add some sesame seeds. That's it. So we got the cooking teriyaki sauce and dipping teriyaki sauce. All right, this time we covered how to make teriyaki sauce. Next time, we're gonna cover how to use this teriyaki sauce to make delicious food so you can share it with your friends and family. Thank you for watching, loving and sharing with Mayin.